name is Michael McKenna, and I'm here from San Francisco uh, in Berlin to uh, work on a film version of Sight Unseen, a theater piece for one performer, for my dear friend, the very gifted Hermann Eckert. The piece originally was done in New York at the Bowery Poetry Club on the 9th of September 2010 by Sophia Holman, the actress, a young actress, very gifted. And in, that was done on stage. This one is uh, changed a bit, so it will work on film, as uh, something much closer and much more intimate than the previous version, because the camera will, has, has been used as a kind of actor or participant in the piece. So we, I had to rethink it a bit, and so that's basically what it's about. The principal difference between stage and film is intimacy. Uh, in the stage we have an intimacy with the performer, but it's in, within the proscenium, within the frame. Uh, so nothing, everything is there and we can choose to look at what we want to look. In film, the image is within the frame and moves w within the frame. And so we're constrained in a way, but our imaginations are freed in a certain way, more, I think, in film uh, than in stage because of the intimacy, the closeness, because there's a kind of direct address, especially in this piece. Uh, so the audience is privy to the thoughts of uh, the individual, the, the man in this case, uh, performing the piece, which is different from the intensity uh, of a film version, I mean, sorry, a stage version where you can look all over the stage. And, you know, it's just a more distilled way, I think, of working. Well, it was a friend of mine, actually, an ex. I, I think it was a melancholy around that, and also the time of year. It was written in November, December uh, 1999, and finished in January of 2000. Uh, it's just a, a kind of melancholy uh, contemplative piece and you, you actually don't know where, where things come from sometimes because they float, float into your uh, imagination. But I think it's not autobiographical in, in any way, shape or form, but I think the circumstances uh, had to do uh, you know, from, a pers from a personal point of view. Uh, with my own life, but in an abstracted, so it's not about me. So it has hopefully a more, uh, I wouldn't say universal, but it, it more, uh, more easy for the audience than just being about me or my experience. Because I don't write in a narrative style, and it's not really, it's invented from feelings, that's the way I work, but they're not uh, necessarily my feelings. When Sophia performed it, I rehearsed very closely with her, and we changed a lot of things, the lighting cues especially. Um, it becomes a kind of abstract thing after you do it. You kind of, it's like Stravinsky said, you know, uh, the intensity of involvement with the piece when you're writing it is in a way more interesting than after it's finished because it becomes a thing that is given to the world, uh, which may sound a little being glorious or whatever. But I, I don't think of specific feelings. I just think that uh, the piece should uh, create a kind of mood by the words themselves. And the way I write, I don't write like a lot of postmodern poets in which you know, the language circles around the meaning. The, the meaning should be, have a direct emotional impact. The image and the meaning should be the same. So, uh, it's a peculiar answer, I suppose, to your question, but I think uh, that uh, the um, intention I, I have forgotten, but it's a melancholy piece, and it's set in the winter and fall, so, I mean, that may come into how people respond to it.